right, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the Rushdown Brawl. We are playing some Artanis today. Let's get right to it, boys. Uh, Brawl modifiers, we have our Vega, uh, not Vega, but like a free um, hero. Uh, from Tychus, we have Stim and we have Stockpile, so we start with a lot of money. And we're joined here by Kaz, Cannon Fodder, and In Flames uh, is on the other team. Uh, <laughs> Cannon Fodder keeps getting serious. <laughs> Well, there we go. Someone has to, I suppose. Someone has to. And that's a Crooked Sam, boys. Well, good thing Crooked Sam's not good against a bunch of zealots here. Let's see. We got a Tychus coming here, and Inflame's got a missile turn. I don't know what that is going to be, but we'll see here. Um, I think oh, I think that's a Manx. I'm not sure. I saw some I saw some Zerglings there, so I'm assuming it's a Manx. Uh, love Tychus versus Karax. I think we're just going to have to be a... Just, Annihilators for days. That's just all you got to do, boys. Annihilators for days. Although we're all Protoss, actually, so we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of photon cannons here. I'm gonna do that. I'll put down a single Goonie, a single Dragoon. We'll see here what happens. Wait, he got double Tychus? Oh no! Oh no! No, no, no! Man, that is about the best thing that could happen to you as Tychus. And he doesn't have global cooldown on grenades anymore. The grenade used to have a global cooldown, but that is not here anymore. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. I have no idea what I'm up against, by the way. A lurker. Okay, well I'm up against Kerrigan. Um, <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to muscle through with some uh, immortals, I think. Actually, maybe I could go for some Tempest enjoyment. Well, that's terrible against Kerrigan. Um, actually, it's not too bad if I I can just rain it in here with some. Uh, I can hold it down with some so some with some. Um, what is it? With some uh, Archons, but it'll be a little bit expensive. <laughs> Get that spin going. I think we got this kind of, maybe? Oh no, Tychus is a DPS king. Forgot about that part. Uh, those lurkers are going to outrange our cannons, I think. Uh, I mean, this shield battery's got a lot of targets here, though. That's, that's pretty good. Um... DT's gonna slice their way through that, so I think I'm gonna give the uh, Guardian Shell onto these Zealots here. That'll help them basically kind of be like <laughs> Karax Zealots, somewhat. Uh, in Flames with the tank here. Alright, it's gonna be a bit of an uphill battle, but that's okay, boys. Stalker here. Oh, we got the middle income for a little bit. Oh, man. And yeah, it's gone now, but it's okay. Uh, Alright, just... Uh, some tempest. I missed the A there. I don't know. Stuck some tempest? Stick some tempest? Stock some tempest? I think it's only the E that doesn't give me an answer to a real word. Stack some tempest. Um, there we go. I'm against Kerrigan though, but I think if a Kerrigan tries anything funny, I can always just, you know, put down some Archons. Uh, my Lurker here. I should have uh, gave it some more lifetime, actually. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah, Tempests are not good into, say, something like Mutalisk, but, uh, you know, we'll do just fine, I think, with the Tychus. Especially because the Tempests have Stim. Um, so that'll make it a little bit better. I think I just gotta keep sending out Zealots. Uh, it's like, who gets, to, who gets to put on the Immortal suit next time, you know? I don't know, I'll put the Tempest down here. Uh, but yeah, it's like it's a really tough matchup for Karax trying to just fight Tychus. It's just almost impossible, I think. Oh my god. Tychus, you're kind of surviving here. Surviving somewhat. I'm gonna drop a shield here. A little bit late, I suppose, but you know, I wanted to make sure I could shield my units out as well. Boom. 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 Well. 
Vega, can you take that? Thank you, Vega. I don't know why Vega doesn't want to take a Lurker. He's like, Lurker? No, thank you. I'm not interested. Uh, oh, Kaz here protecting my Tempest here. So that's going to be really good. It's going to let my Tempest start stacking. And, uh, I mean, Tempest attack every 1.3 seconds right now because of that Giga Stim. That's going to be very good, except for the fact that the Tempest is in range of the Missile Bunker. Classic. Uh, <laughs> well, there was an attempt. I think if you just snipe off Tychus himself, he'll be fine. And then, like, I think you have to micro, though. I don't know I don't know if um, the Annihilator is auto-target, but I feel like Cannon Potter is just uh, targeting Tychus here, so... That'll be good. Oh, hey, there's some Mutalus coming in. Well, you know what? Let's introduce Kerrigan to the reason why you never buy Mutalus against uh, Artanis. Uh, boom. There we go. Did I lose my detector? Are you serious right now? Oh no. Okay. Well, my Tempests aren't really stacking, so that's a little bit bad. I'm gonna get that Kadarn amulet. Um. We shall our guilt is an enemy. We shall serve. Oh, missed. Ooh. Okay. Boom. Got all those invisible boys. Oh, Blaze Oil gonna reveal them. Uh, but wow, those annihilators really came. They really came together, boys. Let me get the Psy Storm here. You gotta like that. Uh, okay, so there's a few more mutalists now. I wonder if Psystorm restores the shields of friendly allied units. That'll be something I want to see. Um, I think actually against all those lurkers, I should probably just go for something that flies. Um, Vega stole the detector! Vega. Vega's a big Chad. She stole the detector, boys. <laughs> she stole the detector! Oh man, it's over. Um, yeah, I'm feeling I should probably just go buy a bunch of phoenixes and just pick everything Kerrigan has up. Uh, could be bad though in that case, I don't know. Um, anyways, let me just grab a... another Tempest. I don't know, what else am I supposed to do? I think with the Tempest I can stack up pretty hard. Uh, and Kerrigan can never really contest the Tempest, like she's got nothing besides her Needleless. I mean, yeah, she can get her Hydralis, but I think if I can just get my Zealots to keep charging past those Lurkers, um, we should be fine. Just run right past the boys, it's okay. The power of ire will protect you from the bullets. Not actually, though. Um, I don't know if I should... Oh, uh, wait, we double scanned. Oh, well. Uh, Rocket Boy Bunker is going to be a little bit bad, though. It's going to really devastate my Tempest squadron there, but that's okay because I can just keep buying more of them. So, there we go. This is... I'm just going to... Barely hang in here. I cannot put uh, anything else on Vega. Oh, I can get the Persuader. Oh, wait. Okay. I'll take that. I'm going to increase the duration of Dominate by 100%. Nothing wrong with that. And then the Sonic Motivator should be pretty good. Uh, there we go. I'm going to drop a fat shield here. A little bit late on that one. Uh, but I'm going to get some. I'm going to get an Assimilator over here. There we go. Stun whole army, then wreck base. Best meme. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, I'm getting some huge lag here. That's a lot of DTs. Oh, I guess, yeah, the DTs just like stun the entire army and then just walk right past. It's like, what's up? Uh, spinning Zealots here, more than a match for the Lurkers, actually, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, unfortunately, my Tempests are not more of a match here. Actually... This Lurker here, that has like the super long stun duration, or a super long mind control duration. <sighs> Actually gonna be able to make a dent there. There we go. Uh, but yeah, those units are all stunned, and then when they come out of the stun, they're just gonna get reamed by the remaining DTs here. I don't know if the DTs can stun Tychus' waves, I don't think they can. Um, but even though Tychus got hella lucky with the double Tychus, he's still gonna get completely demolished here. I think he needs a Nikara, actually. Nikara with the shield could just afford more health. It's just having more health. Nikara and maybe some more Boswells, I think, would be good. Because Boswell just slaps. 
Um, I'm gonna drop a scan here so maybe we can take care of some of these lurkers. Oh yeah, 100% of those lurkers are dead. And the two side storms here are just going to handle those mutilus. There we go, boys. Get some more side storms out here. I get the plasma surge, so I get some shields back. That would be good. Uh, stole one of Inflames' detectors. Um, there we go. Emperor Shadows here. There we go. <laughs> Emperor Shadows here being a little bit annoying, but that's about it. Tempests are finally stacking into Tychus' wave. There we go. I'm going to kill off Tychus first. Nice. Tychus got super lucky, but it doesn't matter. The power of teamwork uh, came together. And uh, now Tychus is getting slapped. There we go. <laughs> Kerrigan doesn't really do too well into Artanis either, so like, good good thing good thing for that, honestly. Good thing for that. I just also realized Can Fodder, despite being Karras, I don't think I've seen the beam yet. I might have just missed the beam, but yeah, this is like beam, no beam. And this is what I mean by lurkers are good on paper, but like terrible on in the field. Like, they just all focus down that one zealot instead of like, you know, trying to hit the most units at the same time. Like, if they did that consistently, then yeah, they'd be pretty good. But yeah, I didn't do any damage here. Kaz doing so much damage. Uh, honestly, not favorite to win at the beginning, but we pulled it through. I did the least damage, actually. Don't worry about that, boys. Let's go for round two. And what is... Uh, we are back. I think I'm facing off against In Flames. Um, there we go. And we got Symbolicity joining us here. Oh, man. I'm against In Flames. I really just want to go for some Goonies, but I think I have to open with Zel uh, Zealots. <laughs> Stim Dragoons are good, but when compared to everybody else, they are not that good. <laughs> like, Stim Marauders versus Stim Dragoons, say goodbye to those Dragoons, boys. They're sleeping at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, but let's see. What do we got here, boys? Oh, it's a Reaper Squadron. Oh, man, those Reapers. Uh... Well, I guess... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Blaze with the oil spill contain man, Blaze is just gonna like wreck me here. Blaze is just like insane tank. Um Hmm. Against Han and Horner. Oh, I'm a little boned. I don't think I have a good matchup here. I think I just have to buy lots and lots of Phoenixes. I think that's the solution. Like I can't be any I can't beat the other things that uh Han and Horner's gonna be able to send out here, besides like we might get a Phoenix Dragoon game, actually. That might be very enjoyable. Mm, Citizen Joe here with those Banelings. Oh, no! It's a me- Ooh, Simba! <laughs> Simba's gonna play some Stackbreaker Stepman on us here. It's a mirror match. Well, we just gotta explode on him. Uh, just get Lings low. There we go. Maybe the Lings encounter. I don't know. Uh, anyways. So what I'm expecting from Inflames is that we're gonna probably see some, we're probably gonna see some uh, tech swaps into uh, wraiths. So I'm gonna prepare for that. Uh, I think Phoenixes can beat Deimos Vikings, but they cannot beat uh, Sovereign Battle Cruisers. Um, that's why I have Vega, right? Um, she's gonna steal the Sovereign BC. <laughs> Vega's actually a blessing in disguise against some commanders. Um, you think like, oh no, that's terrible. But actually, actually, oh no, they didn't have the shield. The Lings got popped. They just got popped instantly, boys. Um, our base is not going to look too hot after that one. Uh, let's get the double Graviton Beam here. Oh, it picks it up. Oh no, it's on cooldown now. Okay. Well, if my Zealots force the uh, Reapers to fly into the sky, uh... It looks like the Reapers completely demolished the Phoenixes. Well, that is good to know. And that just means we gotta get some high Archons uh, for the squad. Um, but I just, I'm just gonna have the Phoenixes in anticipation of uh, just the, the tech switch. Because it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, Blazier going down. There we go. Get ourselves our archons here. What I'm gonna do is just like, boom, put that shell on these guys. Get the Kadarn amulet first, and then we can have whatever money's left to get some Psy Storm. There we go. Uh oh, splash damage though. 
splash damage. Oh, actually, no, that 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 cleared them out. That cleared them out, boys. Zerglings beat the Banelings. Never thought I'd say that, boys. Um, uh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Drop that Sly Storm over there. Um. The thing is, when the Reapers fly up, they actually just get memed on by those. So, I, yeah, this is. I, th I think this weird whatever thing I'm doing is uh, the solution here. Um, but let's get some more High Archons. Um, I think that'll be a good solution to our problem here. Boom. Slam that down. I think what I'm going to do here is just drop a shield. Those Banelings are going to connect very soon. Shield up here. These shielded Stepman Zerlings, by the way, are going to be ridiculously tanky here, so they're basically just never going to die. Um, yeah, they because they, they only take 10 damage, and then that extra 100 health <laughs> means they take, like, literally... They're literally just Immortals at this point. Um, there we go. Oh, is there something invisible here? I hear some rates. I hear rates, boys. The rate switch is here. But I think... I'm ready for them. Am I ready for them? Oh no, I don't have enough detection. I'm not ready for them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. But yeah, I think I think the phoenixes can't beat the rates one on one because they they attack quite fast with the stim. Um, yeah, I think they can beat them. They don't attack nearly as fast as the rates, but having more of them does help. Um, Kaz's queens here just get knocked out here. That big shield that we had basically just got nullified. I think I probably want the uh, pulse crystals. Um, there we go. We got our phoenixes here. I think I'm just gonna auto cast it on this. I think the observer is gonna take it first because they are light. Uh, boom, boom. There we go. Oh my god. Observers, please move forward. Uh... Wow, my Phoenix has just lost that fight. Holy crap. Seriously. Oh man. I thought they'd be able to win that one. Alright, well. Let's see how many of these Phoenixes we need before we can win this fight here. Um... Uh... There we go. My observers have their shells on them. Uh, probably could use some more high archons. They might just need to uh, give these guys more range. Uh oh, that's an ultralist. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give them some anion pulse crystals. I'll upgrade their air weapons by one. Maybe that'll help. Uh, uh oh, there's a Sam. Sam, I am. There we go. Our Vegas stole one of those rates there. That's gonna be pretty good. Come on. Okay, there we go. We have our we have our detection there. So I'm pretty sure the Phoenixes just roll these Deimos Vikings as well. So there we go. There we go, Phoenixes. Yeah, the Phoenixes beat the Deimos Vikings. Um You wouldn't think they'd they'd be able to do so, but they are. Um uh, able to beat beat him, but um, the only bad thing is we have to watch it for some Sovereign BCs, which I think Vega can take care of. Um, do I want a side projector? I don't think I want a side projector. I want a Sonic Motivator, actually. Sonic Motivator sounds pretty good. <laughs> can motivate some of those units to uh, get shredded. Um... Hey, that's the cannon, boys. Give me another gas here. There we go. See, the rates blink out of the detection zone and right into my observer zone. There we go. Uh. Oh no, but I can't beat the Damos Vikings enough. Ooh. Nope, can't beat them enough. Oh, I'm just gonna drop a shield here. Uh, that should be pretty convincing here, the shield, boom. 
Okay. Maybe I could start buying some Dragoons. I don't know. Um, not sure. Not sure, actually. Hmm. Because Dragoons do deal with buildings quite useful, like, quite well. Um, hmm. And there's not much ground presence besides Blaze, uh, I suppose. Yeah, there's not much ground presence besides Blaze, so I think some Dragoons would be in order. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some dragoons here. I'll just put them all behind the archon. Um, my single archon here should be good enough to really just hold it down for quite a lot of time. Uh, Super Gary gonna be coming out here. Ooh. Those mecha ultras are gonna cause us some trouble, I think. Uh, they're definitely gonna cause us some trouble. Because they're going to be very good against these Lings, although the Lings don't seem to care at all. <laughs> they just ran right past. Uh, I'm going to get the Trillic Compression Mesh here. Stim Dragoons should be pretty good. There we go. Boom. Stolen Wraiths. Uh huh. There we go. Dragoon's actually helping us win significantly here. Um, not significantly, I guess. Like, they did help quite a bit. But, um... They definitely made the ground situation turn out a little bit better. The Amos Vikings are still surviving, though. Um, hmm. The one thing is you can always get armor to counter the Phoenixes. And, uh, that is probably one thing we'll be running up against. Just the high armor count. So hopefully these Dragoon's can help us out here. Um, let's see. I don't think I don't think Tempests are gonna be good against Stable Vikings, which is why I'm not getting them. Um, but I could be wrong. All these are gonna stun with the EMP blast here. That is a lot of Reapers getting destroyed by Super Gary here. Did they buff Stepman Ultra? I don't think so. Uh huh. Uh. Boom. Oh, always. Versus mech. They've always had a sun versus mech, boys. Uh. Yeah. The stun is pretty, pretty strong. That's why Stepman Ultras are like, they just slam Swan really hard here. These Hunter Killers. Hunter Killers. Oh, those Banes. Oh, those Banes. I think, I think Kaz is almost able to kill off most of these guys. Um, okay, there, that's it, that's it. I mean, enemy stepping went for that big stack breaker. I never built them. <laughs> there we go. They're, they're an integral part to a balanced Stepman diet, boys. The, uh, especially against ground units. They are vital. <laughs> okay, rates and get stolen here. Game paused? Hello? I'm gonna resume the game. I'm like, what? I'm gonna drop a shield here. I'm gonna resume the game, boys. Keyboard dropped. Wait, how did the keyboard drop onto game pause? That's whack, boys. <sighs> oh, man. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep pushing through with some of these, and then I think I do want to get some tempests actually. You know, once you start enjoying tempests, it's hard to stop. So I think I'm just gonna go for some. Hey, we got some Stepman Ultras coming out from Symbolicity here. Guess we got Symbolicity to try something new, also known as Stepman Ultras. Uh, oh, he takes 25% reduced damage, so he survives the Sam grenade. Crazy boys. Um, uh, that's a lot of grenade cars. There's also a lot of rates there. Uh, can I get Vega to get the uh, Persuader? There we go. Please persuade them. Kaz has a plan. So anyways, this Persuader is going to make it so that uh, it attacks super fast. This is a Deezed Wraith, boys. 
27 damage. I had a plan, then I just started placing units. <laughs> oh man, I think Kaz had a plan with Zagar, but then he just like put down a bunch of hunter killers. This is a zero ab uh, Zag actually. Doesn't seem too bad actually, because these guys all benefit from the stim. Um, it's got a Roach Queen. It's pretty pretty powerful actually. Um, zero ab Zag. A little bit unconventional, but it seems like it's working. Uh, let's drop that auto cast here. Dragoons are doing something. <laughs> Definitely not doing very great though. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my air weapons one more time. There we go. Boom. And Sam's gonna go down here. Let's persuade some wraiths, shall we? There we go. The persuaded wraith is just gonna be crazy. 18 plus 9. Look at that attack speed. It's actually just the laser beam. Um, yeah, the Dragoons are getting smashed really hard, but if I get something like, you know, um, Immortals, they're going to walk right class in Flames' Wave. So the best answer I got is Dragoons. Uh, there we go. Oh, how did I not stack this guy properly? There we go. Put that guy down there. Put that guy down there. I think I'll just have a, a deep V of Tempest. Ooh, BCL coming in here. Oh man, boys. Ah, it's not gonna be a problem, right? Oh wait. He's giving up. He went for BCLs. And the step in mirror, you kinda just wanna go Zerglings, and then I guess some Ultras. Um, the Banes don't really do well into the step in mirror, um, ironically. I'm gonna lob up my ground weapons one more time. Mm, yeah, it's this stage is probably not a bad idea. Uh-huh. There we go. There are some rates that have become invisible. Uh, there we go. They don't shoot up. Uh -huh -huh. Oh yeah, the phoenixes are really just going to slam the BCLs, but my phoenixes are also getting destroyed. Uh, but yeah, it's a mirror though. Yeah. Yeah, and Tychus is clearing my BCLs. My Phoenix is my bad. <laughs> I wish I had BCLs, but I'm out. Uh, and Tychus is clearing my Phoenixes. <laughs> I just had BCL on my mind, boys. Just had him on my mind. Anyways, Inflames has actually swapped out for a bunch of small units here. He's got a lot of mines. That could be bad. Let's drop a shield here. Let's see, those mines could actually just slam my phoenixes in a devastating manner. Oh yeah, they're getting devastated here. Uh, well, that's okay. I think the phoenixes still took care of business here. I think I just gotta keep having Tempest now. The Tempest is uh, what we're gonna need to beat Tychus. Or at least make a dent here. Um, I can't really push past Tychus, I'll be honest here. Let's get another gas. Uh, but in Flames' mines will be a little bit t troublesome. Man, Kaz has so many queens, just like keeping everybody topped up. Uh, maybe. Uh, a little bit of a BCL. Drive. He's got two BCLs here now. Uh, I mean, BCLs are actually not too bad against Stepman. Like, because uh, Stepman's only real answer to them is Mecha Hydras. There we go. Frenzied your line, boys. Ooh, Super Gary, just gonna survive. That's not allowed. What the heck? Get that out of here. Step Metal Cannon on one of my Zelts here. Stolen BCL here. Full health and insane attack speed. And that's gonna go down here. Okay, so those Widow Mines are kind of messing me up a little bit. But uh, that's what the Tempests are here for, so I just gotta make sure I keep slamming Tempests. I think the only way I can beat in Flames now is just to start slamming Tempests. Like, I don't like Dragoons because they suffer from the Goliath problem. And they also suffer from the... Please help me, I shoot too slow problem. Um, that's a that's a new one, boys. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Banelings here are going to make a huge dent into Kaz's wave, but not before Kaz makes a huge dent into uh, Citizen Joe's wave here. Um, Mecha Corruptors, I guess, are the only answer to BCLs, I suppose. But uh, Gary is also a pretty potent answer as well. But stimmed up Super Gary... 
is literally just shooting out a laser beam. He's basically now a void ray. He's graduated. He's now a void ray. Congratulations. Um, I don't think I need to upgrade the armor of my units here. Maybe. I don't know. The little mines are gonna really like murder us here, but I just stole that Damos Viking, so it's gonna do 30 damage. Wow. Okay, my phoenixes are just all over there. I have them all with Guardian Shell, so it's fine. I'm forcing out some Vegas here, which I suppose is good. I don't know. Uh, Tychus here seems to be handling us just fine, though, so maybe it's not good that I forced out some Vegas. We'll see here. Um, boom, boom. That's a big rip, boys. That entire wave just got plowed through. Zagar doesn't really have a really good answer to tanking uh, enemy explosions. She's more of a explode on things only. <laughs> okay, we'll see here. I'm gonna get some more armor. I think we're just gonna fill the rest of our field with Tempest. It's looking like that's what we're that's where we're headed. Um, and it might be bad for me actually if I do fill my field with Tempest because then Inflames can go for a huge tech switch, uh, which could potentially be more devastating. Um, there we go. Widow Mines here making a huge dent into my Phoenix line. Um, uh oh. Come on, Tempest. Tempest are eliminating the Vegas, kind of. Oh yeah, but they're just they're getting decimated here. But not being able to push through, like we're just sort of stuck in this like little bit of a stalemate here. Um, Damos Vikings from In Flames. Not gonna really do too much because there's only there's only what two of them. Um, hmm. I think with the Widow Mine threat, I just got to uh, charge into them. I think that is the only answer I've got. I think we just got to charge into those Widow Mines and just like overrun them that way. I'm gonna drop a little bit of a shield here. I think my units should still be shielded. There's so many HPs in this build. <gasps> There we go. I mean, that's just like no explosion Zagara. And it's somehow working out. It's a really good build right now. Let's see the explosions. Devastating my Dragoons a little bit. Archon getting mind controlled. Phoenix is here trying to clear out the last vestiges of the Deimos Vikings. Uh, Vega gonna ground my units here. Ooh. There we go. The Tempests are, are forcing uh, Tychus to just like switch things up a little bit, which is good. Um, oh man, that Nux Storm is going to clear a hole in the center here. So much AoE. Anyways, time to build the other side. I'm going to fill this other side with Tempest. Um, is boundless. There we go. Put down some Zealots here just to get them to run in there. I think these guys are all shielded up, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start shelling out my zealots now. Uh, hey, somebody just subscribed. Haven't heard that sound in a while while we were filming, at least. Um, there we go. Boom. Upgrade my air armor one more time. Uh huh. Ooh, that sounds like it hurts. There we go. I'm gonna steal that Damos Viking here. Get that Persuader going. All my Phoenix is running forward, getting grounded by Vega, which means Vega is not going to be able to ground my Tempest, which is very good. Uh, okay, never mind. She's going to be able to ground some of them. Uh, but the Tempest with the Stim is going to help. It's going to help Kaz push past. Uh, mostly intact. And some of these Tempests here will go on to bully Gary. Uh, actually, the Tempests are just going to kill Gary, actually. There we go. Uh, and then... That means Symbolicity is going to have a bit, of, a bit of an easier time here. Cluster Buster is coming out here, but not going to really do too much damage to these guys because they're not light, but hey, we're pushing through nonetheless, boys. I'm going to level up shields here because everybody has shields on our on my units. Uh, I don't think I'm going to level up the ground armor on my units here. Uh, can we stop protection here? I guess a little bit. Widow Mines from Inflames are getting slammed. I'm going to get some more air armor here. So we're fully armored up. Uh, Zealot's gonna be running forward. Uh, almost clearing out H and H as well. There we go. Tempest here. Come on, just kill Vega. Oh, there's no more Vegas, so he can't ground me. Tempests are stacking. 
pretty hard now. There we go. Ooh. And Kaz's blaze being like, because he's being healed up by all these queens as well. And I think, I think, does he have tier three? He does not have tier three. Uh, but Blaze does counter um, Boswell now because Boswell's a light unit, so he's just like burning through. So I think uh, it's just a it's just a matter of time before we get through this here. I have another shield overcharge. I think I should probably shield on Cass's wave actually. That or I can shield on Symbolicity's wave. They're both really good ways to shield on. My wave is probably the worst one to shield on. I think. Um, now, if only we had some banelings here. Ironically, actually, oh no, we don't need the banelings. The Ultralis just breached that base here. There we go. That's a GG, boys. Let's get the overview here. I did not do a lot of damage either. Again, I think I think that's just like the theme for for Artanis this week. Just you're just gonna have to take it. <laughs> you're not gonna do too much. Uh, Cast, you're taking so many hits. Man, actually, no, I killed a lot of mineral value. Uh, but yeah, that is a that is a formidable cigar build here. Um, yeah, for sure. Okay, well. If you guys enjoy this game, let's see, how did, how did Vega do? 53 kills, not too bad herself. If you guys enjoy this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. The tires, let's light some fires! You need a light. They picked the wrong fight.